This chapter continues from the previous bootloader video by constructing the kernel that the bootloader loads into memory. The process begins by switching the screen into text mode and printing a welcome message to confirm that control has successfully passed from the bootloader to the kernel. A simple shell interface is then implemented, starting with a prompt that is kept aligned on the left through a cursor positioning routine that resets the column before each command. Next, a keyboard input handler is added to capture characters, support backspacing, and terminate the input when enter is pressed. A minimal command system is introduced using a string comparison routine, allowing the kernel to recognize specific instructions such as info, which displays system details, and clear, which resets the entire screen using video interrupt services. Running the kernel demonstrates the full workflow, prompt display, command parsing, response output, and screen clearing, forming the foundation of a basic text mode operating environment built entirely in assembly. Then we build the two boot.asm and kernel.asm files with NASM and finish with building them into the final floppy disk and test them. Here we are using ChemuX86 emulator on Windows and Android, which gives a good result as we see the commands work. Till this time, we made a bootloader and a kernel in classic BIOS mode, not UFI, and still at 16-bit real mode, so every task is operated at the kernel layer. In the future, we'll expand this even more with commands and even GUIS.